Hello fellow DevOps expert, in today's video, we will explore a crucial aspect of AWS EC2 security, allowing specific IP access. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge and tools to control and restrict access to your EC2 instance. So without wasting our time, let's dive right into it. Securing your EC2 instance by allowing access only from specific IP address is a fundamental base practice. It ensures that only authorized user can connect to your EC2 instance and reduce the risk of unauthorized access. As you can see, I have already logged into my AWS account and I will show you steps how you can modify your existing EC2 instance that allows specific IP address. So first of all, select your EC2 instance, click on this instance ID and you will uh, see this bunch of options available here. Go to this security tab and here you have to identify your security group. So click on this security group and here uh, you can see inbound rules, outbound rules and tags. So uh, you have to modify this inbound rule, which is SSH rule. So click on this edit inbound rule. Here uh, you can modify as per your requirement. Like if you want to allow your specific IP, like uh, I am on this PC, okay, and I want to allow this this PC's IP to this particular instance. So I can click on this my IP, and it will change to my IP. When I click on save rule, this instance has been modified. So first of all, we'll uh, edit wrong IP address, and we'll see that our ECT instance is working or not. We are able to log in or not. So I'm going to uh, edit this rule again, going to SSH and uh, i will copy this rule and i will paste fake rule here like my ip is 135 but instead of 135 i will put 134 and i will save rule so this change has been saved and i will open our uh, terminus which we have uh, connected previously here demo ec2 instance i am clicking on it and let's see uh, whether it is uh, allowing us to connect or not so here you can see connection failed with connection logs. So we are not allowing to connect to our EC2 instance. Now we'll edit this rule again and we'll enter right IP address. So here I'm going to modify it with the correct one, which is a 135 wall save rules. And now we will again uh, go to the EC2 demo EC2. Now we will check whether it is allowing us to log in or not. Here you can see it is allowing us to access our EC2 instance. So this is how you can allow a specific IP address. If you want to allow a range of IP address, uh, you can modify your EC2 instance according to this uh, article, Compose of Security Groups Rule. If you want to allow single IP address, uh, you have to uh, provide IP address CID, uh, CIDR like this. If you want to allow a range of IP address, uh, you can use uh, this uh, also. So we'll uh, use uh, IP range over here instead of just simple IP. So here I'm putting 0 and 24. And now I'm click on this save rule. So now we'll uh, see again. Uh, I'm going to close this and I will click on this. Let's see it is allowing us or not. Yeah, it is allowing us. So this is how you can add a bunch of IP address or range of IP address to your EC2 instance to access your instance. So congratulations, you have successfully learned how to allow specific IP access to your AWS EC2 instance. By implementing this practice, you can have better control over who can connect to your EC2 instance. Remember to regularly review and update the allowed IP address to maintain the integrity of your security measures. Security is an ongoing process. If you found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow DevOps enthusiasts and subscribe to our channel for more practical and easy to understand tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy securing.